in the continuing adventures of the attic stairs uh, we went and got some uh, 7 16ths OSB oriented strand board and I just had them cut it down at Lowe's to help us get it up there I got two 4 by 8 sheets and ripped them down to two feet wide and then we have one of the sheets cut again at four feet so we have that gives us four sheets of two feet by four feet and the other one I had them cut at five feet so those are two at two by five and two at three by five then we got some risers because my my joists upstairs most of them are uh, two by six and to put this on there it'll compress down the insulation we have up there so we're gonna use these as risers to get six more inches off of the ceiling to keep the insulation good and right now I'm just gonna carry it up there you see we got the trim on we got it painted and I did not fix that corner last time I said I thought this corner was a little low but after we got the trim on and looked around at everything I don't think this corner was a little low I think that corner is even with the other two it's actually this corner that didn't drop down quite all the way and you can see it just a little bit actually it's a little more stark right now because of the camera angle and the lighting but it doesn't look that bad at all like on camera it might stand out but you can see there's just you can see a little more of the hinge there and so we're just gonna let that be and call it good oh the other cool thing we did is put this handle on so instead of using the rope pull we just tied in a little eye bolt right there we got a dowel rod put this hook on it and we just keep it in the closet right here so that's how we get away without having the string there all right I'm gonna take this lumber upstairs and cut down the two by sixes to where we want them and then I'll check back in Okay, in the continuing adventures of the attic stair install, we've started working on some storage platform. Showed you that lumber earlier. I got my 2x6 risers cut today, and that's just so that when we put them across the joists here, uh, we have enough space for insulation to still meet code um, for our area. So that's the only reason we're not putting the platform directly on the joists is so that we can get enough space in there to stack the insulation and meet code. So, so far we've gotten this four foot by three foot platform in. You see I didn't quite get square because that guy was in the way but close enough I mean very close and so we have our 2 by 6 risers there you see they come all the way through and sit on this joist here well can't see it for the insulation but it's there and then it's sturdy I've walked on this stood on it jumped on it and this is just that um, OSB board ripped down you see I brought it up in two foot by three foot squares two foot by three foot and over here I have two two foot by four foot pieces and two two foot by five foot pieces so another piece will or another two pieces I still have to measure what we have right there I've got to see what that measurement is so another piece will come on focus stick off that way that's probably gonna be a a five foot piece that runs that way and then we have that big four by eight piece over there that eventually will get put down over there or over there I think I think my wife wants to do it over here because we have 
more headroom. And then there'll be another piece right here running that direction. And then I'll put, come on focus, a little piece right here so that the stairs are like what we need the most often will be right here. It'll be on this platform, this platform, over here, and then right there. And then longer term storage in a bigger area over there. All right, we'll check back in when I have more done. Let's take another look at where we are here. This is not all the same day, obviously. I've lifted the Tennessee Husafell stone and uh, carried all that lumber, burned that stump, done all those other videos since. So the last time we checked in here, I had gotten this uh, 3x4 platform done. Now we're doing a uh, 2x2 two by, uh, two by, two foot by 5 foot platform right here. At the, it'll be at the very top of the stairs. Um, have these 2x6s on top of 2x6s so that the amount of insulation under there will meet code. I think I've already said that. I've probably said that in every little segment. Um, I have these in there, have this in there, and then I've got this middle piece in there. It wasn't, I didn't have a piece, I didn't want to use my long piece, so I put two together there. And we'll take this two by f two foot by five foot OSB, plop it on top. I've left this center inset one, uh, one and a half inches, the, the width of a two by six. So I'm going to take a scrap piece of two by six and face from here across here to here um, so that this insulation doesn't come out whenever we open the stairs and then I haven't decided you guys have probably figured out that I don't I kind of plan as I go and kind of work in that way so after that I might put a platform on this side Maybe we've got some boards right there already. Somebody has some 2x12s right there. So those 2x6s on these 2x6s line up perfectly with that. So I'll probably end up doing something over here. And then putting a little platform right in between those two. Whoops. Come on. Come on. The light messed us up right in between those two uh i don't know what you call those support something or others oh somebody just opened the door because i got a <laughs> huge draft and then we'll put another platform over here we'll figure out what the dimensions are right there and we'll just keep chugging along on this project and hopefully it'll get done someday and hopefully I'll be able to get back to the cabin someday and too many projects to work on too little time all right see you guys again in a minute